you know what really grinds gears is that we work all day here, but at the end of the day, we don't have anywhere to relax. Yeah, I hope they don't have a drink after a long day of work. Me too. So, what do you guys think? About asking the bush for like a tavern for the city? Yeah, that's a great idea. And bush, we have a favor to ask for you. Um, sure. Uh, what do you want from me? Well, me and the boys talk about way to relax after a long day of work. And, uh, we end up with the idea of having a drink. But we don't have a bar in here. So, we are gonna ask if we can build a tavern for the city. If we talk it with you. A tavern, you say? Well, that's a great idea. Not only that you guys will have a place to unwind, it will also bring fun to the city. So, sure. The boss will be happy about this boss. So, hello and welcome back to the Random Craft server. I am your host, Magic. <laughs> and as you have heard earlier, the Clockworks asked me to build a tavern. Uh, I'm not sure, but what is the tavern? I'm, I google it and it says it's like a bar? Huh? Something like that, yes? So yeah, they wanted a place to have a drink and unwind their gears. <laughs> so yeah, but before we do that, we, uh, we need a place to pick a place where to build it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, maybe here? Huh? Maybe here, in front of the city, or uh, what were we planning here last episode? Like a strip building, right? So maybe the first building of the strip building is the tavern. Huh. But before that, we need to do some materials gathering first. And before we go materials gathering, we need to go and have some money first. <laughs> so let's go check our profits if we have some profits. Okay, so we already took our uh, profits from the beehive or the box, box shop and also the money from the uh, head shop. We got 10 from there and then like uh, 12 from here. So first we need to go buy some wool or uh, banners. So we need to go to Lag Monster Shop. So yeah, and also going to do buy some wood from Foxy and some stones, uh, stone briar key like granite from Julian. Yes. And do that so yeah so i just got back from my shopping and i think we are ready for the building so i decided to build it right there on the corner corner lot yeah for that the people can see it from here when they cross this road and also while they are crossing this road they can still see it so I, uh, uh, I designed this thing using the same palette like this. I tried, I tried, <laughs> I tried to use this palette, but it didn't work. So I tried to combine these two. So yeah, we're going to start the building. Let's go.
So welcome to Kag and Mag. So I was supposed to name it Kags and Mugs, but the S banner will not have this uh, border red, red border. Uh, so yeah, I didn't mm, added the S. So you can still call it Kags and Mugs if you wanted. So yeah. Uh, credits to ChatGPT for the name. <laughs> I'm so bad with pants and words that related to each other. So I asked ChatGPT <laughs> for a suggestion. So yeah, he suggested Cags and Mugs. Yeah, I really like that name because Cags because there's gears and also clockworks here on the city. And mugs because it's a tavern or a bar where the clockworks unwind their gear, then drink some oil, ale, ale, yeah, oil. <laughs> That's the same. And we added some gears here, here and there, just to make it fit the the city. So at the back, there's not much here. Just a giant gear connected. Up there, uh, up there is oh, I don't know that thing. Up there is a power source given to every establishment here in the city. Should we see there? Uh, no one knows what's inside there, but this thing provides rotational force for the city if they wanted some power in their establishment like this tavern so we provided this power supply that provides kinetic energy to our gears so yeah i also added uh, a chimney here oh i forgot to remove this so a chimney so as you can see uh the other one is higher than the one the other one because to have to does not have symmetry to break symmetry yes so to do that as you can see there the campfire here have a hay bale below it so that is why it got higher smoke and the other one doesn't have so that is how you increase the height of the smoke of a campfire so here at the back we have a garbage can yeah, I used the most as the body of the garbage can because it's uh, green and then there's little bit of particles there like dirt or grime and also added some more glow, glow ligand to simulate the grime or the dirt in this uh, alley alley? alley alley for the back, back side yeah I really like this uh, glow icons to indicate dirt. Yes, and then we have some jewels, cup blocks as the garbage bag. Yeah, and also the chimney here uh, like this. Yeah, bricks. And on this side, there's nothing because, as I have told on the last episode, this is going to be a strip building, so there's no point um, decorating this side because. It will be blocked. You won't even see this. This is the last time you will see it. Unless I don't build anything here for the next episode. <laughs> so yeah, that's the exterior of the Kags and Mugs. Yeah, I really like this window design. Like a uh, vintage Spanish um, door. Or no, it's not a door. It's a window. Yeah, like they open up windows like and then this one is the railings but for well, in reality it's all trapdoors yeah that's the vibe i'll get in here and i really like the honey block behind it and then those buttons really adds hmm, the detail <laughs> then this uh what you call this banner i really like it this flower banner it look like a gear that is why i use it the gears yeah and then that's all for the outside and we go inside the interior Hola. uh the interior is not 
complete yet. But I added a little bit of armor stand works. For example, here on this table, um, a party has happened <laughs> last night. So yeah, someone left his beer mug here and then someone got carried away and then spilled his beer on the floor. Yeah, or like this design or detail. So yeah. This is a tavern, so we need a brewing stand to brew some drinks. <laughs> yes, then some clock here, yeah, and then we have uh, what you call this? Fruits. I'm going to add drinks here later, or on my off camera. Then uh, over here we have a joke box. So I'll. So I really like this design of jukebox here. Just a simple trapdoor, and then jukebox here. It it actually works as a jukebox. Um, hello, hello. Hmm. Why are you not taking my? Oh, oh, there we go. There's a armor stand there, so I need to put the, this. On the left side. Oh yeah. So you can still use it. And then put it back again. So this thing is like the joke box thingy where you select the song and you can see the this inside. And that thing is a light bulb inside. <laughs> yeah. As you can see there, it's pulsating. Yeah. Okay. What do you call this? Uh, but what do you call this? Decoration bulb lighting inside, yeah. Just to add some color to the jukebox because most jukebox are colorful, right? So behind the counter, we have a kitchen, sort of kitchen here, yeah, where they prepare the oil and the ale for the customer. Yeah, they grind the gears. <laughs> and upstairs, oh yeah, I forget. I discovered this new block. This block is called Muddy Mangrove Brutes. So people use it normally like this, like that, right? And it doesn't have any good pattern, right? Uh, it's just a root and then the mud. But I just discovered that you can change its decoration or texture depending on the way how you put it it's a directional block as you can see here i'm using it in the alternating pattern as you can see so this one is horizontal this one is vertical horizontal vertical horizontal vertical oh i missed this one <laughs> apparently oh yeah there you go and you can also do something like this, um, straight, everything like this. You want it like a board or a planks. Yeah, these blocks really suits if you wanted to make a moldy, <laughs> moldy flooring. Uh, so this is a tavern, right? So the floor is a little bit dirty always, and then this is a uh, planks. But yeah, or maybe it's also can be like a carpet. I also did it as a ceiling, as you can see here. Yeah, I really like the pattern of the alternating horizontal and vertical lines. Then added some note block there, like a speaker for the uh, tavern. So upstairs, we got some posters or paintings. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just to make this wall not too plain. I don't know what to add there. <laughs> so yeah, I do that. So I forget to add this target block. I'm going to add uh, robots playing darts on this side. I'm going to remove this painting. Yeah, and then add some more customers having drinks. Yeah, and then bartender again on both counter. Yeah. So yeah, that's the whole interior of the Cags 
and mugs. And over here, you will see the town. You can overlook the town. Oh, there's a spider there. Oh. I really like this view. It's coming along, alright? The city. <laughs> uh, this is a start of the growing city. Can I change this thing into this? Uh, I'll think about it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the build for today. And I hope you guys like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so. And if you like the video, kindly press the like button. And if you have comments, do comments down below. And I'll see you in the next episode. I am magic. And I'm always here. <laughs> see ya!